What's up, y'all? This your girl, Gold Mouth. Oh, shucks. I am on my way to therapy. Oh, somebody was behind me. I was trying to get myself situated. I ain't know nobody was behind me. Oop, my bad. <laughs> oh, well, that'll be all right. Um, I'm on my way to therapy, y'all, and I got some free time. So I said, oh, let me turn the camera on and start talking. Girl, hey, how y'all doing out there? It is almost Thanksgiving, you guys. I didn't post a video this morning, so I'm, I am guess I'm just going to post this video today, uh, which is today is what? Today, Monday? I think today Monday. Yeah, I got to go therapy on Monday. So today is Monday, <clears throat> and um, I got to go to therapy, and I just wanted to talk to you guys and say, hey, I can't see this camera, y'all, child, so I don't know if I'm dog or if I'm dog skin or light skin right about now. But anyways, girl, how y'all doing out there today? What is on the menu for Thanksgiving? That's what I want to know. I want to see some Thanksgiving menus, you guys. So if y'all cooking, write down y'all menu below, you know, um, because I'm going to be cooking a little bit, but I ain't no big old Thanksgiving person, but I just like to hear, you know, what other people doing, you know, is y'all doing something out of the ordinary turkey and dressing for Thanksgiving? You know, what y'all doing? I heard somebody coming on one of my videos the other day talking about, um, Y'all having Chinese food for Thanksgiving, girl. I was like, whoa, that's the first time I ever heard of that. So I'm like, okay, go ahead on Chinese, um, Chinese food. But um, is anybody else having anything odd for Thanksgiving besides the usual, you know, turkey, dressing, and what else, ham? I don't know, you know, the usual stuff that everybody have every single year, year after year. But I do know we having me and my husband, my, my shades, my glasses might be done turning in the shades, y'all. Um, we having turkey for sure, because they gave my husband a turkey at the job. So, I mean, why not cook it? And we still got, we got ham already. So, we ain't doing nothing out of the ordinary. Girl, I'm, whatever I'm doing, I don't know how to do food from scratch like my mom and them. So, we got cans that gonna serve the same purpose, okay? So, I got, um, I think I'm gonna do them yams. If somebody know a, a, a good way to do those jams that's already in the can, um, let me know, because I ain't never did them before. All I know is put them in the thing, boil them a little bit, put a little um, uh, brown sugar and cinnamon on them. But I know it's a lot of people doing homemade from scratch jams where you got to go in the kitchen and peel the potatoes and, 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 and cut the yams up, child. No, ma'am. I don't get down like that. Um, I would never be that kind of, of, of cooker. Cause I ain't finna make no sweet potato pie. Cause I don't. That's that's out of my league, y'all. I'm have to stay in my range. <laughs> if if I knew how to cook a sweet potato pie, I would have been did that. Cause I love sweet potato pie. But uh, we gonna have to uh, depend on us some patty pie. You hear me? And I don't even like her pie. I had her pie the other time when, it, when everybody was ranting and raving about patty pie. Child, it ain't all that. It ain't all of that. It ain't got nothing on my grandma pie, you know. Um, and it's too much of something in it. I don't know what the ingredient is, but whatever it is, it's too much, and I don't really care for it. Um, so I'm probably gonna go to the store and buy a cake. You know, one of those cakes they be having in the refrigerator section, like a lemon cake, lemon butter cake, pound cake, them kind of cakes. They be good. They got them at Piggly Wiggly. I'm gonna go get one of them. I think the last time I had like a lemon butter cake, and it was at Piggly Wiggly, and it was so freaking good, y'all. It was shoot, I like that one better than the homemade pound cake. Uh, I'm going to get that. And we're not going to do greens this year because I messed up the greens last year. <laughs> I messed up the greens, child. They tasted like they were just nasty. I don't know why I messed them up. My mama said I should have pulled cold, hot water in them instead of cold. But I'm not trying to figure that out this year, y'all. Um, I am making cabbage instead. I'm going to make um some cabbage. Now, I can, I, can, I can do the cabbage. I don't know if I'm going to be. I can't, look, I can't record all this so y'all don't expect <laughs> <laughs> don't expect a whole bunch of video, but that's going to be a lot of stuff going on. I might bring y'all the after, you know, the after party, after we be done cooked. So, uh, because my husband going to smoke a turkey and all of that in the grill. I might show y'all a few clips and things, but child, I can't record myself cooking no cabbage because I, I got to follow instructions and pay attention myself because, uh... I'm, you know, I ain't cooked no cabbage in a minute. It ain't my specialty, but I can cook it. Um, so if anybody got any good cabbage recipes out there, we, I don't like to boil my cabbage. You know, like most black folks in the, my grandma used to have a big old pot of boiled cabbage. I don't like to boil it in a whole bunch of water. I do like, I like kind of like the fried version of cabbage, you know, I don't know how to explain it. 
It just don't have that much water in it as a big old pot of cabbage like my grandma done be having. But so so far we got cabbage, yams out the can. <laughs> Probably oh oh I'm gonna do a green bean casserole. I know how to do that, y'all. Follow the instructions on the back of the um what the what the thing called the French fried onion box. And this time I had went, I already went and bought it. I went to, um, the other day and I got the um, the great value version of the green, the uh, what do you mean, the, the, the fried onions. I don't know if I, I'm going to taste them before I use them because I like the Frenchies fried, I think it's Frenchies. I forgot what it is. Fried onions for the green bean casserole. Um, but this time I tried the great value version. I bought one pack. I'm going to taste them when I get home. I'm glad I thought of that um, to get those green beans to do my green bean casserole with because I want the onions to still taste the same because that's like what makes it good especially when you put them on top when it when it come out of the oven and you still got a little crispy crunchiness on top I love green bean casserole green bean casserole from my understanding is like not a black folk uh thing to cook it come from the white people you know I, you know my white friends taught me how to cook a green bean casserole anyway when I was in high school um a, you know a while back uh, one of my friends um, showed me how to cook a green bean casserole and I made it like that and it was pretty good um, I like it my husband don't like green bean casserole he just he said he just rather had a green beans without the without the extraness um, it's not too much extraness it ain't nothing but a little bit of um you know, like the, the cream of mushroom soup or the cream of chicken or whatever you want to put on it and some and some the french fried onions. That's all. That's all it is, you know, but it just mixed together. But my husband don't care for it, but my children loves it. So I'm going to cook that for them. And I don't know why children, when they when they get big, they always expect, like just like me, they expect their parents or their grandmama them to be done cooked for Thanksgiving so they can go to somebody's house and eat. So the only reason I'm cooking is so they can have somewhere to eat. Um... Poopy gonna be there for Thanksgiving. She ain't even there now, y'all, because I told y'all it was her birthday. So she had went to Florida for her birthday. So she'll be back for Thanksgiving though, because she talking about, Ma, I need to eat. I said, who who cooking? You need you gonna stay here, you need to cook too. Shoot, I need you to cook. <laughs> Anyways, I wish Nivia was coming, but she not coming. Um, Jazzy said that Nivia is probably gonna come um when i think she said maybe for her birthday i don't know maybe for christmas or either her birthday her birthday is in february and so i don't know if she gonna come then i really wanted to come for christmas but kind of not i don't know i just because you know i want to get the baby something for christmas y'all i miss nivia so much she was my little fun grandbaby um Coco, she not that fun yet because she just a little baby. When she get big enough to start doing stuff and running around and, and playing and stuff, then she going to be fun. But right now, all she do is sit down and look and eat and cry and poop and eat and cry and cry and cry and cry, 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 and eat and poop again. That's that's about her life right now. So when she get bigger, child, she going to be my other little second little dog. You know, not dog, but you know, like my homie. <laughs> my, my grandbaby homie. So, yeah, yeah, that's, that's what's going on for our Thanksgiving um, I want to hear about y'all though. What is on the menu? You know, if you're doing something awkward, like, or eating something awkward, like somebody said to eat Chinese food, Ch I, I, Chinese. Okay. Um, what I wanted, what I want one day, maybe not for this Thanksgiving, but I do. I want, I want seafood for Thanksgiving. Why not have seafood for Thanksgiving? Why we always got to have turkey and ham and dressing? Why? I get, I, it's not that I get tired, but turkey is not really my thing because over through the years through the years of living we had a little dry turkey that was in the oven and nobody don't like no dry turkey uh, but now we don't upgrade it to fried turkey smoked turkey and stuff like that so the turkey is actually better and my husband's gonna smoke the turkey which is actually good I like it like that but I, I ain't really no big fan of turkey but I know it's healthy for you so I ain't gonna mind eating it but uh, you know the ham everybody love ham lord have mercy the ham be like the one that go first but i'm gonna try my best not to eat too much ham because i'm still trying to do right and by the grace of god he gonna help me do right for this thanksgiving i'm gonna ask him to forgive me after i eat all this food because i'm gonna eat me a good plate i usually i tend not to overeat for thanksgiving because you know at first you be like oh i'm gonna eat this i'm gonna eat that i'm gonna eat that but after you be done went in the kitchen and cooked it 
you don't be hungry because you done smelt everything and got full off the aroma and you done taste tested everything. So you really ain't really as hungry as you thought. Like, man, I'm going to eat me about four, five plates. I've been waiting for this all year. And you go in there, eat you one plate and you be full. <laughs> and then all I can do, only I can only eat two plates for Thanksgiving. I eat one plate on Thanksgiving Day. And then the next day I eat a leftover plate. And that's it. I'm done after that. After that, I don't really want no more. I won't. I be like, man, I'm sick of looking at Thanksgiving food. Just throw the whole Thanksgiving away. Throw the whole Thanksgiving away. And um, oh yeah, my husband, he can eat the Thanksgiving all week. He want it all week, especially like what my husband like to do. He like to get the leftover turkey and make turkey salad, turkey salad sandwich, and turkey this and turkey that. He do a whole bunch with the with the turkey. I don't do all that. I'm done with turkey. Oh Lord, I'm just talking to y'all. I done missed a turn for my um therapy. I'm done with I'm done with um with turkey. You know, I, after after the first two days, I'm done with turkey. But after um. Thanksgiving, my husband could still eat it all the way up until like a week, y'all. A whole week? That's a long time because then he'll wake up, he want turkey salad, he want turkey sandwich, and I'm like, babe, I, don't, I can't do it. Now, I can I can mess up a ham. I can mess up me a ham now. But a turkey? Eh, I'm, I'm kind of over it after so long, you know, after so many opportunities and failed attempts to eat turkey. The second day I'm done, y'all can have a turkey. I guess I said that right, child. <laughs> uh, I got to turn around because I'm too busy running my mouth and I don't miss my turn. And it's like a sharp turn and I couldn't just turn around just like that. You know, I'm not going to be having no wrecks out here trying to turn around and go to therapy. But, but thank God I leave... Ha- I done growed up. <laughs> Thank God I done growed up. Glory, hallelujah. And I can just, I've learned to, uh, I have, wait a minute, can I even go this away? Okay. I have learned, there we go. I was trying to figure out what I could do, child. I have learned to leave the house on time, okay? I have learned to leave the house in a decent time so that I can be on time to the places that I'm going because um, usually, girl, I leave the house like five minutes or ten minutes before I have to be somewhere, honey. That's what I did in my younger days. And, you know, that's not good. You know, at, at a certain time, at a certain point in your life, you got to start being on time to things. So, <laughs> I started having to, okay, I got to be somewhere at 1030. I'm going to leave at 945. You feel me? Just so I can be on time and I won't have to be stressed. It reduces my stress level, you know, tremendously. <laughs> so, I don't have to worry about uh, being late. If I if I do, especially like somewhere I don't really know where I'm going, child, I'm gonna leave about two hours early because I'm not used to Montgomery. So um, a lot of times I get lost, and I don't want to get lost. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to be like late by getting lost. So I be on my GPS a lot, but now I know where the place is, so I ain't got to use my GPS. Y'all see, I'm still talking to y'all. Hi. <laughs> so um, I'm just rolling, and I think I need to go to that food market, y'all. I ain't cooked that pizza yet. I don't want it to go bad neither. It ain't it ain't went bad because cheese still good. You know, the marinara sauce is good. And I oh, I finally got some pepperonis from the Dollar Tree, y'all. Um, because I was gonna get some pepperonis from that uh health food store. The fresh what it was, the fresh market. And the pepperonis there was five ninety nine. And I was like, oh no ma'am, they sell pepperonis at the Dollar Tree. And so I got me some pepperonis from the Dollar Tree. I got two packs and it was a dollar, you know, two dollars. So um I'm going to make a pepperoni pizza, but the reason why I didn't make the pizza yet is because I think I need another pack of cheese. I got two little breads. They about like six inches, um, and you know, in length or whatever. Uh, and I want to make both of them. And so I think I need another pack of cheese and that cheese was three ninety nine. but golly, I think I'm going to go ahead and get another pack of cheese so I can make both of them on camera and I'm still going to record that video for y'all. So y'all ain't missing out on a piece of video. I'm still going to make it. Um, so that's that. But anyways, you guys, let me get off of this thing. Y'all can talk to y'all forever, especially when I'm in the car. I'm just free, y'all. I'm just free. So, uh, oh, that's a nice car, child. Wait, where am I at? Okay. <laughs> y'all, I'm tripping. Okay, so um, 
Y'all list y'all Thanksgiving menu items below. If y'all doing anything weird, y'all turn up because I am down for anything that's not Thanksgiving on Thanksgiving. You know what I mean? Like, if you just going to Burger King and you ain't doing no Thanksgiving, let me know. I just want to know. If I can get some ideas, because I might do that next Thanksgiving, because I'm so over it, because by the time when, when Christmas comes, do you know when Christmas comes, you pretty much have a Thanksgiving meal again, besides the turkey, because you're going to ham it up on Christmas. You're going to do the tater pie and the cakes and all of that. The same freaking menu again. And I'm, I'd be over it by that time. I don't even want it no more. I just give me a, give me a cheeseburger and I'm good. You feel me? <laughs> anyway, you guys, let me get off this thing. I'm almost at therapy. It's like right down the street. Oh, nice. I see some, I see some go-karts just then, y'all. When I was little, I was like a go-kart fanatic. My daddy had us all the go-karts and four-wheelers and stuff. So I used to ride those things. I ain't nothing but a tomboy, y'all. Oh, Lord. I said I was going to get off this thing, but I'm still talking. Well, let me get, I'm, y'all have to lean forward because I can't see me, see you, see me and all that stuff. So, um, I have to make sure I'm in the camera. So my appointment is, can I still get 20 minutes. I'm real early. So I'm going to sit in the parking lot and read my book. I brought my book over here. So I'm going to read my book while I sit in the parking lot. And I will chat with you guys in the next video, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Y'all list those um, Thanksgiving meals down below, y'all. Um, that's all I got to say in this video. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye.